statement does a really good job of keeping you guys motivated and locked in regardless of the opponent, circumstances, whatever it may be. Are there any particularly memorable things that Coach has done over the years as far as getting you guys fired up for a game? Um, not really. I mean, you know, he beats in our head that, you know, we can only control what, what we can control. So, you know, it's, it's all about us. I mean, if, if you're playing good, you know, we're practicing good, we're going to have a good showing on Saturday. So, I mean, when you focus on yourself, you know, you really don't have to, like, worry about anything else. How much do y'all block out where another team is at in their journey throughout the season, whether it be records, stats, you name it? I mean, you just kind of worry about what you're doing. Well, I mean, that happens every week. I mean, like I said, you know, Coach Saban said, we can only control what we control. You know, we, we focus on Alabama, you know, polishing up the things, you know, that, that, that we mess up on. So. Uh, you know, it means a lot. I mean, you know, I've been Alabama fan, you know, for a, for a while, and you know, I can remember back to when Terrence Coney blocked, blocked that field goal at the end of the game. So I mean, it's 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 a big robbery for me. Is it some of your responsibility being from in the state that to explain some of the maybe outer state guys how important this robbery is? Oh yeah, I mean, I'm sure the out of state guys. I mean, they they've been around long enough to know now, you know, how serious this robbery is. So. But the in-state guys, you know, they take it a little bit more personal, so. Did you like cigars? I didn't smoke my first cigar until my freshman year when we played Tennessee. I'll ask you uh, some. Uh, Tennessee's quarterback, you probably haven't had a chance to look at film yet, but they make the switch, so you really only have one game to really watch. Um, does that make it more challenging for you? Because I mean, not not really. I mean, you know, you can see, you know, what kind of quarterback he is from that one game. But I mean, you know, we go, what, we'll we'll break down film, you know, from the whole offense and see, you know, what what are some of their tendencies. So we'll see, we'll see how it goes. Sean, I'm sure you guys uh, at least were aware of some of the scores of games over the weekend for top ten teams losing. Or, or weekends like that just added reminders to you guys that you can't let up. Oh yeah, no doubt. I mean, you know, you, you got to have a great week of practice, you know, Monday through Thursday, I mean, you got to have a good showing, so that way, you know, Saturday, you know, that doesn't happen to you. Two more. Is that something like, you know, you guys talk about that, like, or just even casually, like, oh, you see, like, you know, two, four, six, ten, all lost? I mean, I, we, we really didn't talk about it, because, I mean, you know, we, we don't have, like, much, like, downtime on the weekends, but, I mean, we, I mean, I mean you're a college student, so you, you, you knew what was up. Hey, Sean, I have a question. How do you think going up against the, the Crimson Tide running backs helped you, helped you on Saturday? Um, well, I mean, you know, definitely helps us out a lot. I mean, you know, when you can face guys like Honey Bun, Damian Harris, <laughs> and, um, <laughs> Freight Train, Bo Scarborough. <laughs> I mean, definitely helps us out a lot.